Hey guys, Sean Bougie, surplusfundsriches.net. And one of the things I get from a lot of people is, hey, we want to hear some more crazy stories, some stuff you've encountered in this business. And today I'm going to talk about some of the wild stuff we've seen when dealing with the courts. So the first one is up in uh, Pennsylvania. Okay, city, city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. So what happened in Philadelphia is years ago, the sheriff uh, offloaded a ton of money and they, they handled the disbursement in Philadelphia of tax overages. And they off, offloaded a ton of money to offshore accounts, millions of dollars. It's my understanding, although don't quote me on this, but that he just got asked to resign and that was it. That's how dirty we're talking about. So as a result, they formed what's called the DART program, D-A-R-T. I believe that stands for Defendant Asset Recovery Team. So they formed that in order to get the money back and to not have just one person responsible for cutting a check. So they put that into place and the, the idea behind that was great. You know, now we have a way to get the money out and we're going to be able to protect these people uh, from it being stolen by the sheriff. Problem is it takes them about two years to disperse the money. So we'll work Philadelphia, but just know up front, it's going to take a long time to get that money out. Okay. A um, couple other things that I've encountered. I got called one time uh, from an investigator who asked me to stop on a claim because they were looking into the clerk. And by the way, guys, the way that the clerks or whoever's handling the money, the reason that they can take this money and run is typically there isn't a check and balance on them. There's It's just them saying, yes, yes, I grant this claim. So what they'll do is they'll have a buddy go get a DBA firm and make a claim and say, hey, I had a judgment or lien against the property at the time. I'm first in line. I need to get this money out. Here's how much I'm owed. And the clerk or sheriff or magistrate, whoever is handling in that particular county for that for that deal, will say, yep, grant it, cut the check. And then they'll have that person give them a portion, like 70% of that money back. And that's how they, they game the system and they take the money out. And I got a call from somebody investigating going, hey, we need you to stop on this claim. We know you're legit but we have some issues. And I said, okay, they're taking the money. And he said, I can't talk about that. I said, all right, well, if you ever want to call me, I'll tell you how they're doing it. And I said, because I've seen it before. And I got a call. <laughs> he said, all right, well, why don't you tell me how they're doing it? Because we're still investigating this and can't really figure it out. And I told him what I just told you. Hey, they got a buddy come in, say they're priority a lien, uh, lien holder or judgment holder, and they're granting it and paying that company that was... Uh, brought into being for the sole purpose of cashing this check, and then they're taking the money. And sure enough, that's what they were doing. Um, I also had a county bounce checks on me. Two checks that were sent at the same time came in, put them in the bank, went ahead and paid the owner, knew the money was going to be in there shortly. Uh, the claimant, their final payment, went ahead and paid the researcher, paid everybody, and then got a notice from my bank, hey, the county check bounced. And I never, or actually the attorney got the notice, the county check bounced in the trust account. So we had to call and we got it cleared up very quickly because they were covering their tail. But then we also went ahead and reported them to the state so that that wouldn't ha happen anymore. So there's a lot of dirty out there. Okay. Um, there's a couple of places that are very difficult to work because they are dirty. Most states are trying to hide it. Usually it's not the county that's dirty. It's the state because they are going to end up with the money at some point. But there are some dirty places. Washington, D.C., it's not worth working. Um, Oregon, Washington State, and Colorado, they're making excuses to not pay the money out. But there's some other states that also give you, uh, New York gives you some bad information as far as how much is being held. And then money disappears for no apparent reason. There's a lot of dirt out there, guys. Just be pre uh, prepared for that. I also just recently today put up a uh, new video on what states to work and not work. And this is an update that I put in today, uh, October the 11th, 2023. I did a form, uh, formally I had done a state, formally, yeah, I had done a state, um, formerly I had done a state uh, rundown, but this one's updated on the, uh, on the 11th of October, 2023. Go look for that. It shows a map of all the states with yellow, red, and orange, as well as just open areas. Um, I appreciate you guys taking a look. Have a good day.